Welcome everyone back to the Loan for Cards YouTube video. We are playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, also known as PTCGO, and I've been loving this game. I've been playing for the last couple of weeks, and this is something that I really want to get into. Um, I know I made a previous video on opening the Pokemon cards, so this is going to be a follow-up to um, showing you my favorite deck that I like to play and showing you guys sharing with you guys how to play this deck and what you need and let's get right into it so this deck that i'm showing you right now is called the phalanx deck and most likely you just need four of these basic phalanx and you need four of these phalanx v um, as you can see you have the regular one and the full art version uh, which you need a total of eight total now because everybody just uses the phalanx deck i decided to add one extra card which is the adp which a lot of people know that this card is very overpowered and they usually use it with Zashian V uh, if you don't know what that card is um, you'll see it, it's one of the very meta very powerful decks that you can use so I decided to add this what does this card do? this card actually when you add um, the metal energy and a water energy you can use your GX on this Pokemon and which during the rest of the game, you'll be able to take out one additional price card when you knock a Pokemon out, and also you'll get 30 extra damage. So this is going to be a really good card to add to your Phalanx deck, which as you know, if you have a full Phalanx deck, you do 150 damage. So it does 5 times of 30 of your bench of all your Phalanx, and then you do 150 damage. When you activate the ADP, you're going to do 180 damage. Also, what you want to do is when you do get your trainer, you do want to place your dojo which will give you an extra 10 damage effectively to about 100 and almost 190 180 to 190 damage uh, with that so it's a really powerful um, deck with this with the adp so you're gonna do 150 plus the adp which gets you 180 um, possibly to 180 to 190 and off effectively to 220 so it's pretty pretty nasty also what you want to do is um, it's a basic setup here which I like to use you can always change the different uh, trainer cards that you want to use to play with this but I think the one of the more important ones that you do need um, is you also need a scoop up net um, this way you can actually trade off your basic phalanx with your V if you have it in your hand so it's also good to have also your martial arts dojo you can add one or two um, I just prefer one because sometimes it, it goes really fast and a lot of people do, do concede on you and another important card is you need the Giovanni Exile uh, if you do the ADP really quick in the beginning of the game uh, you sort of do not want to use him for attack um, although he does 150 uh, with the GX he does 180 damage uh, but it's also not good to play with him because if you do lose him you'll lose three price cards so what is good to have is to have the Giovanni Exile put your ADP onto your bench then you could use this card to get it out of gameplay so that way you don't lose three extra price cards so that's really good to have also good to have is the pokemon center lady this way if your adp did get hit and you put in the bench you could heal him you can also use that and also i like to use the um use the other healing you can use the potions um i like to use the momo the momo cheese which actually does heals 30 damage up to two pokemon so the regular potion does one uh, Pokemon this one does two and you can also get multiple of just uh, many of them you want it depends on how many you want to do also another important note on the energy side of this is that you do want to get these energy the stone energy these are the new from the vivid packs um, and this will give you an extra resistance of 20 to add it to your Pokemon so if you have two of these on your regular failings you have 40 as resistant along with your failings V that you have up to four so you're going to have up to about 120 resistance with your stone energy. On top of that, you do also make sure you do have the cape. Um, the cape will give you an extra 50 HP. So that way your regular phalanx will have a maximum HP and resistance to that. Um, going back to the energy, um, obviously you do need the, um, the metal card, which um, is needed for the ADP. Um, it's good to have two and also two of the water energy, which you need. And also the important thing about these metal and water energy is that you can use this on your regular phalanx, right? So if you end up um, not having the ADP, you can actually just put it on here. So that way you do have the extra energy, but you're not going to be able to use the stone energy, the special strain, uh, stone energy, which will give you the extra 20 resistance on this. 
So that is uh, pretty much the standard um, of the Phalanx deck. Um, you can always modify the twin energy. The twin energy are really good to do a fast attack um, with your regular Phalanx and that. And also I like to keep one capture energy just so the startup of the game is how it's done. So let's show you some gameplay and show how it's done. And I'll give you some step by step of what I've done and, and go from there. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so we start off here with the Phalanx, um, the baby Phalanx, as my active Pokemon here. Um, as you can see, we have the cape, we have two quick balls, uh, Momo energy, metal energy, and a stone energy that we have. Alright, so we're playing with the electric deck, um, so it's going to be, we're going to have double damage to them so anything any tech we do we're gonna pretty much do double damage here all right so we're gonna put on the cape uh, we're gonna do a quick ball we're gonna drop the phalanx v you always want to drop the if you have the regular one you want to get the v out there uh, second quick ball we did not get anything we're gonna add the stone energy and we're gonna call for family and then we're going to add two more V's there. We're going to check to make sure the water and the, um, the metal is available. As we can see there, we do have both of them available. So that way we can set up the ADP later on. Uh, we do already have the one metal energy in our hand. But we want to make sure that we do have the water energy in our deck. Because a lot of times if you have only one or two energies, um, it might be in your price card. And then you're, you're going to end up not even using your ADP um, during this particular match. Alright, so the opponents did take out our stone energy, so that's sort of bad. And they do have a switch. And they did put the, poke, uh, the Pikachu in here, and then obviously the, the resistance that we have, we have 60 resistance, um, it's not going to do anything to us. We got our stone energy back. At this point, we're going to call for family again, and we are going to go get the uh, Phalanx V, and we're going to get the ADP here. So we do have a full 4 Phalanx V with uh, 80 resistance uh, along with our 20 resistance with our energy so we have 100 resistance already to our feelings at this moment all right so they do attack um, they do a flip coin here so it's tails so we do have an extra so we are going to put the metal energy onto our ADP uh, we're going to use our hammer, uh, we're going to take one of them out, just to slow them down a little bit. And at this point, we're just going to hit done and wait for... Now at this point, we're at a draw, and we're just waiting here at this point, since we have no other draws to do here. It's a wait for another energy card so we can attack. All right, so they're still attacking. Um, obviously, they're not doing any damage. Oh, and we got a lucky turn card of a water energy. So now at this point, we do want to um, we do want to activate this ADP just to show you guys how it works. Uh, when it does auto creation, when it does GX, and now we have 30 additional damage. Now we also get one additional price card when we take them out. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up a little bit here because it was just a little bit of a draw um, going back and forth um, to see what we got. We have zero energy right now on our, on our Pokemon. We did draw a Misty's favor. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a couple of cards that we need. Um, we can use a Kaelin. It's a, it's a nice draw card that we can use. Uh, we're going to use Sonya to get some more energies. And then we're going to do Professor's Research.
Okay, so we did draw another cape here. Um, we're just gonna put on one of our V's. We're gonna use the Sonia's and we're gonna get two energies here from Sonia and then we're gonna add it to our our failings and we're gonna skip to our next turn. All right, so now we have our second energy. Um, at this point, um, we can go for another draw or we can use a Professor Research. Um, we're just gonna research this because we're not gonna use the Caitlyn Jenner um, card here. We're just gonna get seven cards. We're gonna add another cape here. And at this point, it's pretty much um, pretty much rest of the history here. Uh, what we're gonna do is get two cards. Ooh, we do pull a Giovanni Exile and we pull a, another Phalanx uh, regular card. Um, what we're going to show you now, uh, because this is actually a perfect um, perfect draw, um, I'm going to show you um, when if you do have harder uh, decks and harder opponents here, um, if you're in this position, this exact position here, um, I'm going to show you exactly what to do here on the next turn. And we are going, we are going to maximize our, our attack with this. So we're going to do uh, use Exile, we're going to remove the ADP, so it's going to do a discard pile and we're going to add our, our another Phalanx here. So now we're going to do 180 damage. Instead of doing um, 150 damage with just 4 Phalanx, we're going to do 180 damage. Since there's a weakness, it's going to be times 2, so we would do 360 damage. Again, we are taking 2 price cards. Um, this Phalanx uh, ADP deck is really good for cards that have 1 price card. Um, that way every single single price card we take we take two uh, pretty much the next turn here is pretty much game over it's going to be ggs and at this point um, the, the opponent should realize that this game is pretty much over here um, they're trying to go for another attack to see if they can um, do a spin here they do get a head so we can attack them with that, so what we're just gonna do is we're gonna add the twin energy. Uh, we're sort of gonna troll them with getting some more cards. Uh, all we're gonna do now is just hit done because we can attack with the coin flip with the Pikachu. Uh, if we do pull a boss card, uh, it will be a lot easier. Then we can just um, get this game over with. But we're just gonna wait it out here until we can finish this here. Zero damage. It does another hell heads, so another trolling. So we're gonna troll them back, get some more three cards. Hopefully we can draw a boss orders. Uh, we don't do boss orders. Um, he's making fun of us here. He's smiling. We're gonna wait for another turn, and we're gonna tell him we have a good deck. How many times is he gonna get hits to stall this game? And another two, ah, and they get a tail, so that's it. That is gonna be game over. Um, we're just gonna troll them one more time. Just do a, just do another draw three cards for the fun. Do a team attack and do 340 damage. And there we go. And that's the victory. So that is it. That is the Phalanx ADP deck. Um, I'm not. Sh I haven't seen anyone else use this deck. This is the first deck, first time I've seen anyone um, try to do this. So I'm the first person. Hopefully. On YouTube, if someone proves me wrong, you can write a comment there. Um, you guys leave me a message, uh, comment down. Also, guys, I do stream on Twitch uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific time to 12 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure you check me out on Twitch. Also, I do have a Discord. Make sure you check me out on Discord and follow me there and check all the giveaways that we give out, all the free packs, uh, PTCGO codes, um, free cash and prizes, and free tournaments. So you guys all join and have fun. Um, see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Peace out.